Today I'm gonna show you how I made this sample. By the way, if you're interested in samples like this, I got a free sample pack for you. 10 samples plus stems, and you can easily download them and get instant access. Link in the description. First off, we need a chord progression. There are plenty of ways how you can come up with a chord progression. You can even Google it. Sometimes I search for good chord progressions in R&B, and I feel like many producers feel obligated to use chord progression always as MIDI files. You can translate every chord progression into every instrument. So I recorded myself playing those chords on my guitar using my guitar pedal H9 harmonizer. This is what it sounds without any processing. So first off I used the noise gate to get rid of the unnecessary noises in the background. Followed by an EQ, here I took out some low end and muddiness and boost the high mids. Then I used Sooth 2 to get rid of some more unwanted frequencies. And finished with the classic 1176 for some compression with a fast attack and slow release. And I also added this little reverse guitar part, very subtle for some texture. Then I layered the same chord progression with a preset from the Prophet sent by Arturia. All I did was to put those chords one octave higher and I did some little adjustments. For example, I like to add random velocity and also the humanized function to get a more authentic feeling. For the process, again I took out some lows, boosted the high mids, added some compression with a fast attack and a fast release, and I'm running it through a tape emulation. And together they sound like this. For the bass, I recorded myself playing my bass guitar. I just followed the root notes from the chords and added some extra notes here and there. I started with a noise gate, followed by an EQ cutting out some muddiness and boosting the low mids. Then I used the C4 multiband compressor to tame down the sub frequencies, followed by an LA3A compressor and finished with the RC20 for some saturation. For the melody, I just picked notes from the chord progression and made a simple melody out of this. I used an organ preset from the Juno synth by Arturia. Here I cut out some lows and highs and boosted the mids, run it through the RC20 preset vinyl too, and some compression with a slow attack and a fast release. I layered the same melody with a Mellotron plugin by Arturia, just an octave higher. Here I took out a lot of lows and highs, run it to Crust Station by Eventide for some distortion, and again filtering out some frequencies, and compression with a fast attack and a slow release. And together they sound out like this. Also make sure to pan your instruments left and right to create some space and especially if you like to record in mono. So I found this vocal sample on Splice. Don't say you down, you gotta stand up and fight. Which I sliced up and rearranged and pitched it up for semitones. But I also have this small part right here which I speeded up a lot. Originally it was something like this. Pitched it down and created this. A small but such a cool vocal texture. I just added a simple EQ to get rid of some of the muddiness and boost some of the high mids and a de for the harsh frequencies. Let's go to the switch up in the second part of the sample. For the second part I used basically the same chord progression but different instruments. I started with the Mellotron again. I layered this with a gospel choir from Omnisphere. On the choir I just had some simple EQ and the Fairchild compressor. I just love how this glues multiple sounds together. And that little shimmer on the top end is perfect especially on vocals. For the bass sound I used a preset from this VST. It's called BA1 by Baby Audio. I just love it because it has this vintage sound and so much color. I didn't do too much on the bass, I just added an EQ. And I also added another bass preset from the same VST. But this one's is a little bit deeper, also with some basic EQ. I added those drums from a contact bank. So basically my goal is to make my drums sound as human as possible. I use techniques like random velocity and set them slightly offbeat. Some simple EQ, RC20 with a famous Vinyl 2 preset, the classic SSL bus compressor, another EQ to get rid of some harsh frequencies in the 3K area, and again running it through a tape emulation. So, final result. You gotta stand up and fight. 
Alright guys, let me know which type of sample I should make next. And subscribe if you enjoyed the sample breakdown. I highly appreciate any type of support. Also feel free to follow me on my socials so you don't miss my daily content.